Hi, this is Roger in Finland, and today we're going to take a look at the Zika ETU S6, all the different resolutions, and what curve factors do we get when using maximum frame rates for each one of them. And for the impatient ones, please just pause the video in this table, take a snapshot if you need to, and that's all you need to know. For the somewhat impatient ones, the E2 S6 does have the capability of shooting in 17 different resolutions, and each one of them has a different crop factor. I went through that in a different video, and in that one, I was looking only at the normal speed, in my case, 25 frames per second. The question, however, is, are those crop factors the same if we use high frame rates? And the answer is yes, but not for all of them. So there are four resolutions that you get a tighter crop when using variable frame rates. Those are 4K, Cinema 4K, 4K 2.421, and 2.8K. But before getting into some more details, a couple of disclaimers. The first one is that this video is not sponsored by anyone. The second one is that I am not a professional cinematographer or videographer. I just do this for fun, but I'm a nerd and an engineer, so that's a bit the nature of my videos, and that's about it then this video is not either a test of how does the high frame rate perform in the Zika M6, it's just to check the crop factors when using high frame rates. And now for some more details, you can of course go and check my previous video on the crop factors for the Zika M6 in all the 17 different resolutions at normal speed, but now we're gonna take a look at those high frame rates. All of the test shots were using ProRes 42, Rec 709, 1250 ISO and 101 over 50 of a second for shutter speed just to keep the same exposure and I was just taking like really short clips of exactly the same scene from exactly the same spot so that I could take some screen grabs and then really calculate the crop factor properly. Then for each one of the resolutions I was setting the maximum frame rate using variable frame rate and that's how we did the tests. And for most resolutions, using the highest possible frame rate for that particular resolution does not affect the crop factor, so it stays exactly the same throughout all the different possible frame rates, but there are those four that I mentioned for the impatient ones that the crop is tighter. Um, one note in the table that I posted before, and you can see it now here as well, I have two different crop factors calculated. One is compared to the open gate of this very camera, which is a super 35 size sensor, and then next to it, the crop factor comparing to full frame, meaning 36 by 24. And the four resolutions that have that crop are Cinema 4K, which after 48 frames per second up to 75, it has a crop factor of 2.34. 4K, which has a crop factor of 2.5 at resolution of 75 frames per second, a little bit less than 72, a little bit less at 60, and below 60 it has the same than before, which was about 1.6. Then 2.4 to 1 4K as well. After 72 frames per second, you are getting a crop of 2.34. And finally, the most extreme case of all is 2.8K, which in normal speed it uses pretty much the full width of the Super 35 sensor, but when you're using high frame rate, after 48 frames per second or higher, up to 120, which is as fast as, as it goes, with 2.8K, the curve factor is 3.34, which is even tighter than the Super 16 resolution. So why to do this video in the first place? Well, after posting the previous one about the curve factors in normal speed, a few people asked what are the curve factors in high frame rates, because people have heard that they are different ones and they are a bit tighter. I wanted just to give the answer, and you make that I'm an engineer and a camera nerd, and this is what you get. Another good reason to make this video is as an expectation management tool. Some people know that for this camera, when shooting at 5K or the 5K flavors, basically you get a two times crop compared to full frame, which means that effectively you're using the same size of sensor as a micro four thirds camera. However, when you're using the high frame rates for the 5K flavors, which go up to 60 frames per second, that crop stays exactly the same. On the other hand, the 4K crop in this camera uses pretty much the full width of the sensor, of this Super 35 sensor in the E2 S6, but when using the high frame rates, which go to up to 75 for Cinema 4K and 4K 
and up to 100 for 4K 2.41, then the crop is even tighter than the 5K one. And that's something that you were thinking that, yay, we're getting 4K at 75 frames per second, which is slow enough for your needs, and you're still getting a super 35 size of sensor for the field of view. You are not getting that one, but now you know exactly how it happens and for how much. And for me, maybe the biggest surprise was 2.8K. It's one of my favorite resolutions to use in this camera when it comes to the normal speed. It's high resolution enough that I get enough image quality and sharpness for my needs, way, way more than I would need, but it looks the image really, really good in my opinion. It uses the full width of the sensor pretty much. So it uses as much of the sensor as the 4K or Cinema 4K flavor and Cinema 6K. But when you use the high frame rates with 2.8K, it really crops a lot. It's the most dramatic change. The crop is even tighter than Super 16, which is the tightest crop if using normal speed. But before closing this video, I'm gonna go really reading specs now. I'm gonna go through all the different possible resolutions, what is the maximum variable frame rate that you get with those, and then I'm gonna be showing the image of how much actually does it crop, basically what portion of the image do you get, and then I'm gonna show exactly the same thing, but basically keeping the open gate frame on the screen so you can see the different crops, how much are they cropping compared to that open gate. But there we go. So this is open gate at 25 frames per second, which is my reference of what is the my one when it comes to scale in this camera. This is open gate at 30 frames per second, cinema 6K at 48 frames per second, 6K at 48, 6K, 2.421 at 50, 5K 423 30, 5K 6 to 5 30, Cinema 5K 60, 5K 60, Cinema 4K 3 to 2 30, Cinema 4K low noise 30, 4K low noise 30, Cinema 4K 75, 4K 75. Cinema 4K 2.4 to 1, 100, Super 16, 90, 2.8K, 120, and full frame, 1920 by 1080, 120. And now let's show the full open gate and all the different crops. Open gate at 25 frames per second, which is my reference of what is the my one when it comes to scale in this camera. This is open gate at 30 frames per second, cinema 6K at 48 frames per second, 6K at 48, 6K 2.4 to 1 at 50, 5K 4 to 3, 30, 5K 6 to 5, 30, cinema 5K 60, 5K 60, cinema 4K 3 to 2, 30, cinema 4K low noise, 30, 4K low noise, 30, Cinema 4K, 75, 4K, 75, Cinema 4K, 2.4 to 1, 100, Super 16, 90, 2.8K, 120, and full frame, 1920 by 1080, 120. So I hope that for those that were looking for the specific information of how much does the E2S6 crop in the different resolutions at high frame rates that was answered and if you like the video please like and subscribe and we're going to see you soon for some more content